you probably won't find too many guys out there that start their days at half past midnight with a dead website cold pizza and a monster energy drink <laughs> but that, that is exactly how I'm fixing to start my day here yeah gotta run that load I'm losing my MPG on my last mention I was at 616 I have been holding that for the last couple of days until after my bounce yesterday I picked up these transformers and basically started running into straight on 20 mile an hour headwinds so I'm losing my MPG but it's still holding pretty decently up there I guess I have four minutes left until I can really start doing anything I've already gotten out and done a PTI on the truck everything's working looking decent and uh, I got the truck washed two days ago yeah it was two days ago now and then just yesterday I noticed this I've got little scrapes on my on the side of my sleeper here that kind of cut away the clear coat meaning somebody hit my truck with something don't know what but yeah my truck's been taking a beating lately and I, I don't like that very much because I like this truck you know um, but yeah that's what we're doing right now well I'm gonna enjoy my cold pizza and monster before I take off here oh what are you telling me? Yeah, check out that cute little kitten there. You cannot look at that face and not smile. <laughs> Two, three, four. No buffer. Yay. I think I mentioned how much time I'd have left. Just, uh... Uh, yeah. And it's only an hour and 13 minutes. Off of the 11. But an hour and 33 minutes off that one. How did that one happen? What happened here? Oh, because I went on duty and then sleeper. Okay. Okay, it makes sense. <laughs> Barely. Well, for a second there, it was looking like things wouldn't work out in my favor, but they seem to have so far. I had to take a 30-minute break on my way down here because the uh, the hills were not in my favor. <laughs> and even though I only had, like, what was it, 450-something miles to get here, it took about nine hours, so yeah, I had to take a break. And I did that a little while ago. But we're here now, and my next load was dependent on whether or not I'd be able to do a 100 mile bounce after getting unloaded here, after taking a two hour break to get a couple hours back. Because as it stands right now, I do not have enough time to make a 100 mile bounce. 127, that's enough to make maybe 87 miles. If, and this never happens, <laughs> I'm doing 60 miles an hour all the way. We're not going to be doing that. But, since I have some time remaining from after that two hour break, since I did an 8 2 split again, I think I mentioned this in the last video. So, yeah. 1637 and. 1504. Yeah, I did all the math on everything just right here. 1504 to 1637. 
113 off the drive and 133 off the 14. Those 53 minutes, which I will have at the end of two hours and 30 minutes after having stopped here, I will have 226 on my 14 and three even on the 11 at noon plus 11 minutes in the afternoon. And things going the way I hope they do, I get unloaded here within this next hour and 48 minutes and we get out of here <laughs> should this work out I'll be headed over to Natchitoches Louisiana at 234 Industrial Avenue picking up a hellacious load I say hellacious because of the amount of miles it's running and the amount it's making to the truck 1125 miles and it's actually only 72 miles bounce, and that's actually makes things a little easier. But check that out right there. That's what the truck's making. This is a weekender, which means it doesn't deliver until Monday. And today's Thursday. Well, I'm going to have no hours left by the time I get this load, so I'm probably going to be parking there for 10 hours, and then I'll run this load. That'll be fine. No problem, since I have the entire weekend to run it. Yeah! I'll get there early. I'll stop at a truck stop somewhere, and hang out for a little bit maybe replenish some supplies back here or something I don't know mm -hmm. we'll figure it out but yeah let's find out where exactly this place is and exactly how many bounce miles I'm gonna have to do I'll get there eventually looks like it's gonna be 76 miles that's fine that'll be fine but I still can't do that with the hours I only have right now. So I do have to do that two hour break. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Well, 127. Technically I do have the amount of time I need to do it, but I'm not gonna take that chance because even though I am, would you quit going back and forth? I am going down to I-20 here and then I'm taking US 371, which who knows what the speed limit is on it. It's going through at least one small town, two small towns. Well, let's see. One, two, three, four, whatever this is. We'll call it five. Oh, I'm now 71 again. Six. Whoa. Well, that's a weird seven. And then there's Natchitoches. All right. Well, we can work with that. <sighs> It's back roads pretty much all the way, just like I thought it'd be, because I actually know where Natchitoches is. One of my uh, relatives actually used to live there. Yeah, so things go the way they should. I should have a load of lumber in the next four hours. We'll see. <laughs> so far, so good. The deck is empty. As you can see, I am now waiting on somebody to uh, come and sign the paperwork. And then I am on the bounce after my time resets. Whoa. Oh, new trip plan available. Go away. One hour and 48 minutes. So I got 12 minutes left to go. Trip plan just switched over. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, no. oh they are trying to bounce me over there first. <laughs> um, okay. 76 miles. Ew! If I were to do that, you know what? Hang on. I'm gonna see if I can do that. Oops! I just ne I actually needed that. Go. Oh. You. In one mile, turn left on Shreveport Road. Just, just tell me what the mileage is. Eighty. In one mile. Ow. Turn left on Shreveport Road. Ninety-nine miles on a seventy-two mile bounce. No, I think I'll take my chances. <clears throat> I have three eighths of a tank of fuel, which should get me at least 180 miles. Now, let's go ahead and just say I am not going to Houghton. If that's even how you say that, I really don't care either way. In one mile, turn left on Shreveport Road. Let's say I go to Monroe on I-20 after I get loaded. Grand total mile of 177. Mile, turn left on Shreveport Road. I should be able to make that on this tank of fuel. Because I filled up 
at 9325 something. I've only gone 500 miles. The tanks were full. So, I should have enough fuel to do that. We'll see. <laughs> this day is so officially over for me. Ah, I've got my load. It is stuff. Yep. And it is strapped. A little oddly up here, but... It'll work. <clears throat> Do a walk around and make sure my truck is still in one piece. <laughs> this can... This, uh, this shit like, very interesting to get into. All oh, mud flaps are still on. The ICC bumper still in one piece. <clears throat> I'm tired. I've been up since midnight. So, <laughs> the last 17 and a quarter hours. It's time for bed now. And I'm going to go do that. So, goodbye.